Hello and welcome back, fellow YouTubers, aviators, board gamers. I've learned since last we played the tutorial of Wingspan that it is an actual board game that you can play in real life. I didn't know that before playing the game, which I think is really cool and it makes a lot of sense. Today we are going to be diving back into Wingspan and we are going to try to play a real game. They've changed the menu here, which is really nice to see. Trivia activation. Only for a new bird play, right? We went through this already. Alright. Pretty sure they changed the screen. We got preserve archive. Birds. Got the kill deer that kills deer. Lots of birds. So it's like one big deck of birds. I guess it's I'm assuming that every card is a unique bird, but that's not something that I know for a fact. Online, we're not gonna try that today. I might try it out sometime, but this is what it looks like. Oh, oh, this one supports uh, asynchronous. Um, that's not what I call gameplay, where you can take a turn and log out, and then uh, play it. You can log in, play a turn, log out, and wait for your opponent to take a turn. Twenty-four hours per turn. Asynchronous, yeah, okay. And real time, five minutes per turn. Five minutes, damn. Today we're just gonna play with some AI. I'm not that well versed in this game. I, I, I dare say that I might not even be able to play this game super well at all. What is happening here? This is an uh, automata. And this is a an AI. What is the difference? An automata. Your games here. Click to play with Automata. Friends or AI. Huh. And the tutorial over here. I love this little button, which is just so nice. With, if, I mean, I had a good idea of what these buttons do, but why not put a little question mark that gives more details to your players, right? Lovely. Click to change portrait, background, and color. All right. We want to be... Ooh green <laughs> all right <clears throat> that's a very goofy picture I like this uh Andla dude be him oh and there's a little hut in the forest this one's also quite nice you know what it has just been Halloween and this is very Halloweeny let's get that one. And we will play with an easy and a normal AI, just to try it out. I don't know if the AI is good at this game. Goal mat is... what does that mean? Toggle between direct competition for goals and less direct competition between players. I see. Oh, I like direct competition. We want to we wanna know, can Keechan lead an AI in his first real game of Wingspan? Place your bets, folks. We're up against an owl who lives in a hut and a blue I like the toucan or whatever it is that lives uh, in the lake sure go ahead and let's see what happens so it's been a few days since I've played this I took the tutorial played the tutorial but we'll I'm sure we can figure it out Round one contains a number of turns, and round two, and then round three, and round four. Every turn, every turn around, we lose one turn. Right, goes one fewer. And then there's these intermediary points. Clicks to start to to start turn. I've chosen what? What was that? Clicks to show. Can I click there? How do I? Hmm. I've chosen to keep two birds. Hmm, okay. He tries to tell me what he's doing. Ah, I see. Choose five, zero, or out of five things to keep among birds, cards, and food. Oh. Zero out of one. Bird, cards, and food. Alright, so that includes these here, right? Here's the birds. Here's the food. And here's the cards. All right, so we'll take it slow. And let's study some birds first of all. We have a Pertle Martin. They live in the grasslands or the wetlands. They eat 
worms work to victory points. This is the type of nest, the wingspan, name of the game. And then this is an on when activated. So every turn, this is once between turns, and this is a predator thing when activated. I wonder this card compared to this here when activated. I'm not sure what the difference is here. But tuck a bird card from your hand behind this card. If you do, draw one bird card. All right. Then we have so. I'm I'm wondering if all birds are supposed to be balanced. I wonder, or maybe some of them are like just just outright better than others. Probably some of them are better than others for most some things and like specialized in certain areas. And you will have more generalist birds and stuff like that that are easier to play but less rewarding. Juniper titmouse. <laughs> Uh, four victory points. All right, only twenty-three centimeter. The wingspan size, as far as I understood, it really matters for. It really only matters for predators that hunt birds of a certain size. Right. Look at a bird from the deck. If it has lower than seventy-five centimeters wingspan, tuck it behind this bird. If not, discard it. This one here, when activated, game one, corn, seed, from the supply and cash it on this card. Okay, that's nice. So this is a, a an economy card. So is this over here. It will help me f fiddle, uh, like, mm, get cards into my hand and, like, tuck cards, uh, bird cards that I don't want. And then, at the same time, earning me victory points. So this is quite nice. So is the Juniper Titmouse, also a uh, candidate for being kept. Violet Green Swallow, wide variety of living spaces, uh, habitats, two worms to play, double the amount of worms for the purple martin, three victory points, and it does the same thing as the purple martin. So this one would be easier to get going. Brown Herded Cowbird. I'm learning so many new bird names that I've never ever heard of before. And I'm probably going to be slaughtering some of them, their names and the pronunciations. Once between turns, when another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays one egg on another with a specific type of nest. Once between turns, when another player takes the lay X action. I'm not sure I like this, and we specifically don't have another bird available with this nest icon. So this one's out. This is probably pretty good. And then we have the red-shouldered hawk. We can get a mouse for it. And I think the predator mechanic sounds fun. So we could keep it, and then I'm thinking these two. Maybe we don't keep the Juniper Titmouse, but we will keep the rat, a worm, and then we, let's quickly look at these two bonus cards here. We can only choose one of these. Enclosure Builder, birds with this type of nests, which we don't see any of in here, negative. So that doesn't seem like a good pick. And over here, and you need four at least to activate them. Birds must have a mm, or a joker sim nest symbol. 30, oh, oh, look at that. Shows me the amount of cards that qualify for this card. 31% of the actual cards in the deck. Very cool f feature. This is something you wouldn't be able to do in a board game, like sitting around a table, uh, unless someone's really good at math. But then you still need to count the cards and stuff like that, right? Here you just get that kind of information for free. I love that. That's that's what separates video game board games from real life board games. And that's the kind of things that they need to take advantage of in order to excel. Kitchen is excited. Visionary leader. Birds in your hand at the end of the game. Oh, now we are talking. That's easier to do. I think I like that. And that's four out of five. Oh, we get this card in here and then five things in here as well. So then I can grab another bird from here. I will grab the Juniper Titmouse. Now we also want more 
birds in hand in general. So this makes a lot of sense to me. This one is a point scoring bird, but specifically the only bird here that doesn't deal with economy. The, sh the shouldered hawk. It's a point scoring, but it only scores three. It lives in forest. This one is. We can probably get away with it. And I think, as far as I understood, it's good to have a bird in the forest because that'll help us with getting more food, from what I understood. I think this is the starting hand that we're trying out. Gain food from bird feeder, then brown powers in this habitat will activate. Uh, eight turns left. Click to start turn. Keep a bird and a lot of food. You gain food. These messages goes by a little bit quickly for me because I'm not used to the game, but we probably don't want to up the speed. So, how how does a turn work? He asks. Well, you want to activate. Here we get the eggs and birds, then bound powers, and this habitat will activate. And here we can get uh, bird cards, then brown powers in this habitat will activate. So we can get a red eyed Vireo with a Joker nest. That's nice. Three. When played, play another bird into the same habitat, pay its normal cost. Here we have a black billed magpie. Once between turns, when another player's predator hunt succeeds, gain one. Uh, die from the bird feeder. And the Enhinga. Ooh. Big bird. Also, Predator, roll all dice when activated. Roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any are fish, gain one fish and cash it on this card. And it needs fish itself. Hmm. Oh, six victory points for this one. And here we can see what food is in the bird feeder. Is that how it works? Oh, no, this is the food that we have in our stockpile right now. Can we see the food in the bird feeder right now? There's no fish here. All right. I would like to pick up a bird. And it would be this one, I think. So in here, we can go in and see. What did you do? Can we see that? I've gained food, you say. All right. What does that mean? You went in here... Hmm. Play a bird, choose one of the birds from your hand. Alright. Well, I, I'm gonna just play this Red Shouldered Hawk. When activated, we get to do stuff. I think this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And once we do it, we cannot un uh, undo it anymore, but it's fine. Hawk. These hawks hunt from a perch, swooping down when prey is nearby. So we got a little bit of trivia about the red-shouldered hawk. Very, very cool. It was voice acted. I did not expect that. Also, a, f a feature that won't be available in the board game, on uh, at least not the voice acted part. There might be little uh, notes on the cards that I am not privy to. Gain food from the bird feeder. Did they all do something now? I played a bird king... What? Let's see what he played. We won't keep uh, uh, looking at what the other guys do every turn. I just need to know like how their opening strategies look like. King Rail, when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. All right. And you did what? Play the bird Barrow's Golden Eye in my wetlands. Barrow's Golden Eye. When another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays one egg on another nest with this nest icon. I see. I do think it's a good idea to play birds early, right? Activate this habitat by clicking on it and all your birds from... Mm -hmm, yeah. And over here. Basically the same info. Click to lay eggs. Oh, that's how it works, yeah. You can click here to gain food. Well, when activated, uh,
anything here we would want to pick up. So if I play this here, yeah, that doesn't actually do anything other than playing the bird. If I wanted to pick up a bird, we would click here. Right. Either draw from the top of the deck or get one of these three. But we can activate our predator in here. I'm just wondering if whether that's actually like super useful. Uh, we can ch check. We could play the juniper titmouse maybe. Yeah, we don't have enough food, but when then we could pick up food and then play the junior petit mouse, and then we will gain uh, an 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 economy thing, basically, which I think is probably a, a decent idea. Let's do it. So choose food from the bird feeder, and then we can discard a card to gain more food because we are on the second part of the track here, which hmm. I don't think I want to discard any of these to do that, right? We need to, in fact, we need to draw a lot of cards if we want to get into this one. So let's have a look at it down here. Can we uh, undo that, please? None of these allow more card draw, but we, what we could do is play birds here, here, and then at least get to this one where we draw two cards. Over here, we will draw three. And use X to gain more. So we would like to play some X, maybe. <laughs> All right. I still think picking up the food in here to play, get that Unibur Titmouse in play would be nice, and then we can start using this one to gain more food per food pickup. So choose for food from the bird feeder. That's going to be just just the one seed. That's fine. And that's all we get, right? Yeah, unless we wanted to sacrifice a card, which we do not. And then we activate the Red Shouldered Hawk, right? And if we click here, then it's no longer undoable. You want to skip this power. Don't skip. That's not what I wanted. How do I reveal it? I click here. Brewer's Blackbird. We kill this one. Tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, also lay one egg on this bird. Nice. But um, now we've eaten that, I think. And it gets chucked, and so that should be worth a victory point, as far as I recall. And now we're already on turn three. You laid X. You laid X. All right. What is the functionality of X again? Excuse my ignorance. Hmm. I forget. Let's see. Up here. X. What's here? Count the total number of eggs your birds have laid in this specific habitat row. Multiple eggs on one bird each count. That's what they're going for. And the most get four. I see. Here it's count the total number of birds you currently have in this specific habitat row. Ah, see, now that one I am leading. And we'll be able to get one more. So we could probably go for that. It's worth more victory points. But we could just leave this one behind. Sets of three eggs in these three habitats. I see. For six victory points. Or round four. One egg in... What? In this specific nest type. Aha. Uh -huh. And we don't have that. I've never seen that nest type. On a bird. And then X count for victory points. Birds and habitats count for victory points. Bonus cards. End of round goes. What is this? Cached food. Oh, you can cash food, right. And tucked cards. We have one there. So we have a total of four victory points currently. Can we see? I would like to see this total score for my uh, uh, opponents. Oh, what if I click here? And then click there. No. I don't get the same calculation for them, but that's fine. So then, in here, now I would like to play the Juniper Tidid Muse. You don't have enough eggs to lay eggs in. Huh. It requires one egg. The first spot is free, but the next requires egg. That's what the eggs are for. And it, this is where we gain eggs. We can just lay the eggs. 
but we could also play the purple mud in. Would there be a reason to do not do it? Trivia. Native Americans hung gourds as houses for these birds because they eat so many bugs. I see. Uh, hold on. Hmm. When activated. We can just click this one and we can lay eggs in here. I think that might be what we're doing. Just, I mean, the, both of the AIs use this action in this turn. So why shouldn't I, right? This is a what of food into another egg. We could play the purple martin in here. Ah, but then we're not able to take this action. What, I wonder what would happen then. No, no, we can still take the action. We could not play another bird in here, but we could get the better action by playing the purple martin in here. Changing a food into an egg. And since we now gain more food in the forest, I think that's the better play. Although I would have liked you in here. Right, so I can get more cards. Tricky. Ah, good old Kitchen and his overthinking things. I think we're just doing the lay eggs. Click on birds to lay eggs. Bloop, bloop. And confirm. Five turns left. Dawn birds. Laid eggs. All right. And let me check. He didn't. Yeah, he he chose not. He didn't draw a bird. He he chose one of the birds laid out here. So now we have a new one. Red breasted something. Gain one. A uh, seed from the cache and supply from the cache supply and cache it on this card. When activated, is that better or worse than this one? The juniper titmouse has the advantage of um, having more victory points on it. This one's cheaper. <laughs> Let's try to play the juniper titmouse. I think that is a good idea in here. Yeah, we're playing, paying the food. Mm -hmm. Good. Click on a bird or from any habitat. Okay, it's any habitat. I thought it, it would have to be in the forest, actually, but no. Spend an egg from here. Good. Juniper titmouse. These little birds make it through winter by storing seeds. Hmm. A short little trivia there. All right. You draw birds, you gain food. All right. Let's see if they took something from in here. Yeah, we got a new one. Ruby crowned king. Kinglet? Oh, I know this one in Danish. Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember it. Um, when played, play another bird into the same habitat. Pay its normal costs. So the same as this one over here. We don't, we're not interested in that because we want cards in our hand, right? I would like to gain the food required for the purple mudin. So let's go up here and just get two food. We can pick up these two and it's probably fine. And we could re-roll before picking up this one, but I don't see why. I mean, the the, the mouse is fine. And this way the, the, uh, the bird feeder will be full next time we choose from it. Gain one seed from the supply and cash it on this card. I would like to do that. Oh, there's no food in the supply. This is the supply, not like out here. So what we do is we we, we pick the the worm that we need for the purple mother and then we reroll. And then there's a seed. Choose food from the bird feeder we would like. A fish? Sure. Go on. Now we can get a, a seed from the supply. No. Ah, I just need to mark it. Yes. Okay, let's see if it takes it from this supply here then. No. This is called the bird feeder, not the supply. The supply is off of the board. And then we get to eat another bird. Yes, we did. It's just under the limit. Perfect. 
When played, draw two new bird cards. This is something that we would actually like to play ourselves. So that's unfortunate, but such is life. Yeah. Good stuff. Three turns left of this round. I have played a bird, and I've drawn birds. All right, let's see if they change the birds in here. Yeah, and we can get this uh, and Hinga. I kind of like it. Since we, we have one fish already, and this will give me more fish and just cash it on this card. Wood Stork. When played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Six victory points on its own. Can I enlarge this one? Uh, oh, not like that. Okay, scrolling switches habitat. I can't really see. Uh, is it pluses? Yeah, it must be pluses. So any food and a fish and a rat or a mouse or whatever. Okay. We can still play the purple martin in here, which I think is a good idea. For the, the thing here, we won't we won't make it to first place and get the four here. So I'm choosing to ignore it. And then we'll just go for uh we could try to go for the second place in here, but that's not fine not not really relevant. We will go for we will win the round two one, I hope, get the five. And then we need to look out for a nest like this one. Do we have one on the board? No. Although this one is a joker, so I wonder if that counts. It probably doesn't. Oh, star nests count toward this goal. Alright. One egg in that one. So when play play another bird into the same habitat pays normal cost. And this is a forest bird. Uh-huh. There might be something. If we play that one early, we will have a three up here with this this uh, goal. I think that's a good idea. And then we would also be able to get even more food later down the line. And we have the egg for it. All right. I would like to play the Purple Martin first. Or we could draw this one right now. Hmm. Now I'll play the Purple Martin first. I think that's the way you should play. There's also another way to look at it. We could play X first. Because they might they might take a bird from here. And then, then that might be something that's worth more for me than the purple Martin. Martin. Pretty common name in Denmark, Martin. So it kind of feels weird to call a bird the same, but whatever. Put some eggs in here. Two turns left. Gain food. I played a bird, ruby crown. Let's see what birds they've played. He played the ruby crown kinglet. And a barrow's golden eye with four eggs on it, right? To go towards that goal. Oh, so he gets extra eggs whenever we lay some of those eggs. That's probably way better than I thought it would be. Draw two new bonus cards. Alright. In here then, we will check out the new birds. They have indeed changed again. There's a wood stork. A native bird of a bird in Denmark, by the way. No, this is the same as I was just there before, so nothing new. Never mind. Now we play the purple martin here. The extra egg was also for using an egg here, I think. All right. We will play the martin. Alright. So we can get the trivia just by right clicking on cards, but I like having her read them aloud. Is it the final turn of this round? Is that how it works? How do we see here? No, that's not where we would see that. Hmm. We only get that specific screen 
Oh, this is another way to look at it, right? Hmm. Well. We don't have the food for this one, but we can gain it quickly, I think. Let's do it. I think we start by drawing from the top. And here is a white breasted nut hatch. When activated, gain seed from the supply and cash it on this card. Or oh, not really interested in that, but we will get another card by using an egg from in here. And then I'll take the red eyed Vireo. Because it has the star nest. And it can be played in forest, with both of which is a good thing for us. Alright. Yes. I'm not, I don't particularly care for its ability though, but it's fine. Then we may talk a card from hand. I, I, I was wondering if we would get a to do that. Leave the purple mutton's ability here. But we will, apparently, and we get to draw the cards first, which is important. So we don't actually care for this white breasted knot hatch. Let's just tuck it and get a new one. That's an extra victory point. Or we can get a fish crow. When activated, discard one egg from any of your other birds to gain one food from the supply. I don't think that's good for us. That's a high call. I mean, we could take one of these and then tuck it later under the, the purple modern. That may be a good uh, way to do it, because we would deny these victory points to opponents. Yeah, let's get this one. The fish crow is just denied. Basically. And we will get a new one. So it should be fine. Okay, and then we are at the end of this round, which resolves in these points being just dis distributed and we did not get any so now we really want to get the five in here which should be doable and then we want to go for the seven down here this this uh six one is going to be tricky sets of three eggs in either zone which is not impossible but we have not been building an egg economy and only seven turns here all right And that's a pretty good uh, stopping point for the, the episode, I suppose. We will divide this one up in multiple episodes coming out one per, uh, each day, daily videos for this one. I hope you all, uh, all will enjoy Wingspan. I think it's a, a fun and cute little game. Strategy-wise, we'll have to see. I, I, I think I want to play with some actual players at some point. It would be lovely. Uh, but for now, we will enjoy getting probably trashed by the AI as it, by the looks of it. I think I'm competing. Find out more soon. See you guys soon and bye-bye.